Wednesday, the 19-year-old boy lost control of his machine and went off a trail into a ditch. It happened in Maryhill just before 7 o'clock. Firefighters used an Argo to get into the field. The teen, who is from Guelph, was airlifted to hospital in London with serious head and leg injuries. utilized the Argo in our fleet since 1997 uh, to provide uh, support, uh, direct support for the emergency services for victim extrication, uh, missing person searches, and also transporting equipment to and from the scenes. And it's much easier to bring the Argo through a dense crowd than it is in traditional uh, gurneys or stretchers. Uh, the Argo has given the versatility and reliability that we have come to uh, require in our 41 years of operation. Echipajele de la ISU și ambulanță, chemate să ia bătrâna de acasă, s-au oprit la 3 km distanță de satul Mohilaoi, comună Țintești. Pentru că drumul comunal era acoperit de nămeț, echipajul cenilată i-a fost nevoit să meargă mai mult pe când. The Provincial Ground Search and Rescue Association hopes to set up five elite teams. The new team is a response to a gap in rescue services. Emergency health services resources can only go so far into the woods. So we had to find a way to bridge that gap. It all ends with the arrival of the patient in a multi-terrain vehicle. But when an emergency call comes in, they say they'll be ready. having an Argo is a tremendous tool to our search and rescue missions and wildfires in extremely rough, ragged, and wet terrains. So I encourage you to check out an Argo and we want to thank Argo for helping us help other people. Crews are working in overdrive to help residents as the snow continues to fall. Westridge Fire Department and Albion Fire Department both on standby with their state-of-the-art equipment that can aid in extreme conditions. This unit is self-contained. It's heated. 
and our medics from Mill Creek Paramedic Service can work on the patient all the way out from the scene of the accident to the to the ambulance. The Argo all-terrain vehicle is a one-of-a-kind unit that can travel in even the worst conditions. It truly is a, a amphibious all-terrain rescue vehicle. And that's what we purchased it for. We've had it in six and eight feet of snow, and it rides up on top of that snow, and you don't even know you're you're on that much snow. Both departments say they purchased the vehicles for hard-to-reach places that other vehicles can't get to.하천에서 실종자 수색을 위해 수류육 양용차까지 동원됐습니다. 주민들이 직접 나서서 거센 물살을 뚫고 